Today we're going to show you the safest, the most economical, and the easiest way to mail anything from a comic book, magazine, paper of any sorts, very simply. Today we're going to show you the easiest, the most economical, and the safest way to mail anything that's paper. A magazine, a comic book, photos, stickers, postcards, all of that. And we're going to do that using just one type of item. Now I've picked this one here because everybody should be able to get this box right here if there's a Walmart near you. I'll give you a little hint too. If you need bunches of these, all you got to do is figure out what day they get these delivered and you can go and buy every single one that came in that day before they go out on the shelf. Now I do have a box manufactured local that I can get a Q box that's 14 by 14 by 14, which is really the best, but this is just fine for doing the exact same thing. Probably 80% of what I send out that's paper or anything like that, I'm using this type of box or a 14 inch cube. Now we're going to bop over and I'm just literally going to wrap these just like I normally would. The only other thing that I use that a lot of people aren't aware of is one of these tabletop tape dispensers. These work excellent. These are just the bomb for anything that I use. When you put them on the table, it's easy as pie to use one hand to tear these off and to just plop them down anywhere else. Once you get good at this, this thing is a dream. You have nothing to hold on to. No, you know, handheld dispenser. No worrying about is it going to stick right? Did you get the right spot? Did it cut? All these other things. This thing is the bomb. I do have a link down in the description box for the items I use. There's actually a Amazon page that has pretty much everything on it. So you can look down in the comments section for that, or you can go to the other uh, link pages that I have. But this is what I use all the time. This is the only one I use since I got one of these for every single thing that I do. And one other just quick call out here. I save the empty tape rolls because these bins that I have right here, I can use those tape rolls. In fact, this one has one in it to block it off so stuff doesn't slide around. You can tape a couple of these together and you can have a tube that will block off a bunch of empty space for these. I use these even in records for 78s. These are my bumpers on either side of edges of stacks. And these work great. It's a good cushion. It protects it in more than just one spot so it doesn't damage a 78 record. Okay, so I've got this stuff to go out right here. Here's a tobacco card, 1930s Britain, 1910 postcard cog railway. 1930s, 40s um, greeting card, as you can see. Now, this is for Aaron out there. He had asked about this. He's one of my Patreons about shipping these sorts of things. This is a roller skating label. Here is a flyer from Haiti from probably about 1910. 8x10. Again, I'm going to show you how to uh, mail all of these out. Here's a comic book. Uh, and this is actually the first or the reintro of Ant-Man into the series line. Um, fantastic Films, the alien release of that magazine run. This is them announcing the release in 1979. And then here is a Coconut Grove, very well known, Casa del Rey, Santa Cruz Beach performance of Kay Kaiser and Phil Harris. Now, Phil Harris, most of you should know, he did some very famous voices for Disney, if I don't, uh, if I remember right. And then Harry Owens is fairly well known. So this is a poster, basically. Now, I've wrapped all of these in here. Let's see, this one here, this, the comic book, the 8x10, the small flyer, the the uh, roller skating label were all wrapped from the same exact thing. These, I think, are like 14 by 16. These will fit everything up to the largest format of sheet music, uh, and even lobby cards will fit in this one. So I use this one for almost everything. Now, I try to order as few varieties of anything as I have to because it'll lower the cost of stuff I need to keep in-house. If I can just order one bag, I can order it in quantity and get cheaper, 
for each individual piece that way instead of ordering like 10 different bag sizes one size for this one size for that now i know a lot of people use comic sleeves and boards board backers i only use those inexpensive ones for like a 20 dollar comic like this i don't worry about it same with these magazines and posters Again, I just use those bags. They are 1.5 mil, I do believe, and I do have links to all of that. Now, the bigger items, anything that's bigger, I use these 5x7s right here, and they work perfect for this. Just tape it around the item. I use these for everything. I order these in quantities of 1,000 at a time, sometimes 2,000 if the price is right. Now, for the postcard, the tobacco card or anything like that, I use the smaller postcard sleeves. They're... Just a hair over three and a half by five and a half, which is the standard size of a postcard. They're just taped up again. I'm using this tape dispenser for every single thing that I do. And then from there, it's just using that same Walmart box, which I just showed you, and I cut it down into four different sides. Now this is for bigger items. If I'm doing smaller items, I can cut down one box into two sides like this, and then I can cut it also the other two sides into slabs like this here. Now I'll have another link up here to a video that breaks down how I cut these all down if you wanna get a closer look at that aspect of it. But for right now, let's just show you how I wrap some of the bigger items here. Something like this, very easy. Once it's wrapped up here, it doesn't matter the shape, the size, or anything. Again, this box here is 77 cents tax included. So it just goes in there, this just goes here, and then all I gotta do is zip it down here, fold it right along, and that is it. So then all you're gonna have to do is tape it shut. Just tape it nicely. I usually put do not bend on here just to make everyone happy. Do not bend across the side. Then I'm just gonna tape it up here. That's the essential. Of course, I'll wrap the edges here. You wanna see the complete wrapping, check out the other video I just put up there. But that's the basics of this. Now, if you're using flat rate US priority, depending on the size of the item that you have, you can just cut this down or use a different size box and it'll slide right into the poly bag for the flat rates or whatever you're using. Packing anything I got in here is the exact same principle, no matter what I am packing. The brochure, again, same thing here. Fold it over, cut, 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 and then it's gonna be the exact same size as this. And you can pretty much pin your weights down to a T on these. I know what everything weighs because they all fit in basically the same size of everything. So you got those. Now with an eight by 10, it's a little bigger. So all then you gotta do is run a line right here. And the other thing you can do too, if this is an expensive one, is add one more piece of stiffener. So I'll take one, one of these cut in a four and I'll use one of those four pieces. And then I just line it up here, fold it. And then the same thing here, I'll just run it along this way. And that is it too. So then I'll just tape this just like I do any of the other ones. Again, watch the other video if you wanna see how I tape it shut. But this is the basics on this. Again, most of these will just slide right into a poly mailer if you're using flat rate, so the weight won't matter. Most of these are gonna run you around seven ounces, depending on how much extra tape you put on them as well. Now with this one here also, you can come right back in here, a comic book. Again, here's the comic book, same basic principle. Now you can cut it a little extra on a comic book, or in some cases, obviously, the more modern day, they will fit in a smaller area, but I usually leave a little leeway in the comic book, so you can literally pack it the exact same way. So again, just tape it up from there is all you gotta do. And now I've got all those items packed up in the same thing. Now with the magazine here, I can do a new box just so we don't get any confusion. I always also put the ink, the printed advertising for Walmart, whoever the box is from on the inside. And then literally fold it over. Since it's bigger, I'm going to take another little flap right here. I am going to again run a little crease mark there so I know where to fold it. Folds real easy that way. At the end of the day, all you gotta do is fold this back around. The more folds you have, the better it's going to be because it will stiffen it. And then again, fold that down, 
tape it up just like any of the other things that I just showed you, and you've got the exact same results as any of the other items that we just packed up. Again, we're still using the exact same box right here. That one box for 77 cents, I could have shipped out all of these. Now, when I wrap them up too like this, this is literally what I mail them in. This, the label, address label, and the whole works just gets stuck onto the side of outside of this, and that is it. I don't do anything else with it. This is the finished product once the label's on it. Now, if it's bigger, you can get a bigger box. There are boxes that are 16-inch cubes, next size up, and you can get a bigger piece of paper in here if that is the issue. But these size boxes will do, again, all the way up to a 11 by 14 in here if you're careful. It's a 14 by uh, 12 box so you can just get it in there at that rate again same thing here I'm just going to cut it again. I pack everything the same I have never and I, I, I do honestly say this have never had a damaged item that I shipped like this ever 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 Never have I had an issue with something like this. This is sturdy enough again Do not bend put the sticker on here tape it up and you are done with that now again, for anything small like these items, anything here that'll go across the edge of this in this direction, I use one of these for it. Again, this is just one side of a box. It'll give you one small piece and three big pieces from each side of one of these boxes here. So that's what I cut them into, and these are what I use to mail anything smaller. So I'll take the card I have here, and then the same thing. Now, I usually just fold it, but if you don't want to fold it, you can use that. Crease it, crease it. And then I tape this up. I'll show you this one here. And this just goes in a poly bag, a six by nine poly bag. And then the address shipping label is just stuck on the outside of this. Once I've wrapped them all up too, I write the name of who it's going to from the final print page on bulk shipping. That's how I figure out where they're going to. I never use the pre-print option because the names are different sometimes from who paid to who it's going to. So I always use the other option. Now with the postcard here, it's the same thing. It just goes into one of these and then boom, this goes into a poly mailer. Now the smaller uh, tobacco cards or anything like that, I just use the thinner strip here, and again, I'm just making a crease, folding it out, and then I'm just going to tape it shut as well. And that's it. Now I tape these from top to bottom and then left to right. So it's taped on all four sides, so it's not going to unroll. And again, this goes into a poly bag mailer. That is it for like 80% of everything I shipped especially anything paper magazines even books i ship the exact same way i'll wrap the cardboard around the book so nothing can affect the book if at the end of the day i want to throw it in a poly bag mailer i use those also but that is it this is the simplest the most economical and the safest way to ship any of the items i just showed you i have never once in the history of doing this had one of those items damaged well, there you have it. Hopefully that gave you some thoughts, some idea on this. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends.